Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday I posted that Windows 10 update KB5036979 and later updates are causing right-click taskbar or start menu icon issues on Windows 10. And as always, that video will be linked in the end screen. Now, just to let you know that once again, unfortunately, there is another issue, but this time it's affecting... I would say the minority of Windows 11 users and not the majority. But it's an issue that was caused by um, this update, which rolled out as our Patch Tuesday mandatory compulsory security update for Windows 11 for June, KB5039212. And that video will be linked in the end screen as well. But just to let you know that unfortunately, this update uh, is causing issues when trying to upgrade from Windows 11 Pro to Windows 11 Enterprise, and it's failing with an error code. So as mentioned, I think this will be affecting more the minority than the majority of users, but nonetheless, just to keep you posted. So if we head over to the change log and the release notes for that update, here we can see that this is listed as a known issue, where Microsoft says that after installing this update or later updates you might face issues while upgrading from windows 11 pro to a valid windows enterprise subscription so basically once again i think this is going to be affecting more your corporations and enterprises and not your average home user now this is what the issue is all about it says resulting from this operation you might observe the following symptoms os upgrade operations may fail and this might be shown in the license acquisition scheduled task in task scheduler, task scheduler library, Microsoft, Windows, subscription, as access denied error, error code 0x80007005 under last run result. So once again, Microsoft says it to the right hand side, they are working on a resolution that will be released on a Windows update in the coming week. So um, if you are experiencing this issue, then just a quick video to keep you guys posted and in the loop. But as I mentioned earlier, I don't think this is going to be affecting most of your average home users. Mainly, once again, focused at um, IT admins in enterprises and corporations. But nonetheless, it is listed as a known issue for the update. So just to keep you posted, I thought I'd put it out there. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.